So everybody, welcome to Glencoe. It seems that the further north I travel, the worse the weather gets. And that is where a decision has to be made because over the next few days, it's looking pretty bad, especially the further north you go. My plan was always to push into the northwest of Scotland. But I've got to say, that just, at the minute, looks like suicide. You know, some serious storms coming in. So, what to do? What to do? So last time I was in Glencoe was in winter time. I think it was back in January or February and had amazing conditions and I stayed at the ski centre. Um, and that's where I am again here today because it's pretty cheap and they've got a, a cafe that does food all evening. They've got hookups so I can get some power. They've got showers, they've got a drying room so I can get cleaned, get everything recharged, everything back to normal. Because although my van is fairly self-sufficient, unfortunately, I still have a shoddy battery and when there's no sunshine the uh, the battery loses its juice in like half a day or a day so it's nice to come here plug in get fully recharged up get showered get clean get everything sorted um, so yeah that's it that's that's what I'm doing and then tomorrow morning after a good night's sleep and a nice hot meal I'll come to a decision I may just it to be honest it doesn't look like anywhere <laughs> anywhere north of Manchester is going to get good weather in the next three or four days. So what I might just do is brave it, stick around the north of Scotland. Maybe we can get those nice dramatic shots, you know, the nice moody shots. We'll see. But yeah, we'll see what tomorrow brings. But for now, I think I need to continue to get myself dried off, get some food and then relax for the rest of the evening. Always moody in Glencoe. It's not grey outside. Not great at all. That rain has slowly been approaching for about the past 15 minutes. Finally, just as we're setting up the camera, it hits. 
I'd expect nothing less from Glencoe in Scotland. <sighs> so actually the rain, the rain might help this composition a little bit, give it a, a little bit more atmosphere and maybe uh, gloss up the, uh, the tree trunks and give those a bit of a shine and a bit more texture. But basically I was, I really, really struggle in Glencoe when the weather's like this. I know a lot of people love the moody, dark, foreboding atmosphere. But for me, honestly, I just find it a bit depressing when everything's gray and gloomy and you know, I just want a bit more light and a bit more, a bit more drama. And when it's flat and gray, it's just, yeah, I really struggle. So I came for a walk along this beautiful river, deep in the Glencoe Valley, deep in the main valley itself. And I started to look at all of the colors in the trees because we are in peak autumn right now. And I'm focused, I was initially looking at the view behind me, which is down the river. We have a lovely, possibly a chestnut, an oak, <laughs> definitely a tree on the right hand side of the riverbank. Beautiful fiery orange colors, the river swinging by and passing underneath the tree. And I thought that was really nice. But then I looked just over my shoulder and saw this tree. What caught my attention was the obviously the vibrant orange colors but the gnarly twisted branches and i really i really love that kind of photography where you can get a splash of color and some nice solid shapes to really hold the whole thing together it's very abstract um, and i quite like it so i focused in on these trees on the branches and tried to get a, a good amount of color a good splash of color and a good array of twisty knobbly branches just to give it that balance I suppose because it's very easy to to start introducing unwanted elements like the river down below and the grassy foreground and the sky you don't want any of that you just want fiery orange leaves twisted branches in a nice pleasing format so that's what I'm doing I've gone for a square crop because I find these abstract images in this you know when I try and simplify a scene I find that square crop really helps to do that. F9 focusing on well ivory branches really take your pick I've gone for the ones in the middle of the composition and then I've taken my shot. But I'm gonna take another shot now that it's raining and uh, see if that changes things at all. It may it may or it may not but um, we'll give it a go anyway.
So that's it. Everything is now soaking wet. So I'm going to spend probably the next, I don't know, 15 minutes drying everything off. And then I'm leaving Glencoe. <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with this place. I was here in January and oh my gosh, it could have been the best place on planet Earth. And now I'm thinking to myself, why am I here? This is hell on Earth. <laughs> Just being in a van when it's raining like this is not fun. If anything gets wet and comes into the van, then the whole van becomes humid and damp and you can't leave the van and if you do leave the van then you bring all of the elements in with you, but I'm not complaining, let's be clear. <laughs> I'm not complaining, I'm just saying how it is. And sometimes it's a bit depressing. So I'm leaving Glencoe. Um, the weather forecast is set to get worse, much worse. So I'm actually gonna head north and east to the Cairngorms National Park, where fingers crossed, the weather forecast tomorrow will allow for a lot more sunshine. So that will be quite nice. Maybe on this trip we'll get some light. Who knows? <laughs> so, yeah. No fancy ending. I'm going. I'm cold, I'm wet, and I need to get dry. So until next time, bye for now. Oh, and don't forget, I'm taking my calendars off sale on the 14th of November if you want to get one and support this channel. All right. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs>